Okay, so hey there guys. So today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. Um, this is a very luxury high-end Sephora haul. So I picked up a bunch of goodies recently and I want to share with you guys what I picked up. Um, I've been really excited to film this haul for a while now. Um, I picked up stuff over the last week or two um, and I've just been dying to show you guys because I picked up a lot of stuff so I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, so we're going to go through like some things that my boyfriend got for me because we finally got each other our Christmas presents and he got me a bunch of Christmas makeup recently um, at Sephora because we couldn't really afford to get each other presents until around this time because there was just a lot of stuff going on for us in December because we were going to Connecticut to see my best friend and then we were both starting school again and we just needed money for like school stuff so now since we both had money and we both got like our tax returns and stuff um, we were able to go out and get each other's presents. I haven't gotten his yet because he was trying to decide what he wanted um, but he said he wants um, running shoes so he did want Bose headphones but he said that he didn't really want them and I got my Sephora makeup in the city with him so I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got and this is mostly really high-end stuff like Burberry, YSL, Giorgio Armani, list goes on. I just really have been um, wanting a lot of luxury stuff and to try out a bunch of luxury brands. I'm wearing most of it on my face today so I'm going to share it with you guys. So the first thing that I got is actually not from Sephora. It's from Marshalls but you can find this foundation at Sephora but I wanted to show you guys that you can also find it at Marshalls for about 15 bucks and I found this literally like two days after I recorded my Marshalls TJ Maxx haul and I was so upset I wish I could have included this in there but you guys know I get so excited to film haul videos that I just film them and then I like don't realize that I'm gonna find something um, but I had no idea I was gonna find this this is the Burberry Burberry Cashmere Long Lasting Flawless Soft Matte Foundation in the color um, Porcelain Number no. 11. This was the only one that they had, and this was in brand new, perfect condition. I'm like, I am totally picking this up, and this was $14.99. Now this re this foundation retails for like $15. $15. I got it for $15. It retails for $52. So I got it for $15. I thought that was an awesome deal. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really love Burberry packaging. It's really nice and soft and luxurious. And it says the shade name on the top right here. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, so this is the actual foundation. Look how pretty this packaging is. Um, I'm not sure if they have this shade anymore like at Sephora. Um, because when I was looking at the shades online to see what they had, because I've been actually interested in picking up this foundation for quite a while, but since I found it at Marshalls, I'm like, I'm not going to go pay full price for it if I found it for, like, almost a fraction of the price at Marshalls. So it says the name on the bottom, and then this is what the foundation looks like, and it says Burberry on the bottom. It has, like, this frosted glass packaging, and then it has a pump. <laughs> And I actually have tried this out a couple of times, I think like two or three times. And I actually really like the finish of this foundation. It's a really nice matte coverage. It's like medium to full, but it has a really nice coverage on um, to it. I might have to test it out more. I'm going to have to retest all of these foundations again because I'm not really sure of my thoughts on them. Because it's just been such a busy week and it's been such a busy year for me so far that since I started school again that I like barely have time to like figure out if I like a product or don't and um but there are a lot of new stuff that I've been trying that I really do love but this is a really good foundation so far I've worn it a couple of times and I really have liked it so that is the first item and now let's get into the stuff that I actually picked up from Sephora I'm going to share with you guys the stuff that he got for me first in NYC so we went to New York City on Monday and we went to the Met Metropolitan Museum. He's actually never been there before and I haven't been there in a, quite a while, probably five or six years at least, so I was really excited to go again. We were going to go to the Guggenheim, but since he's never been to the um, uh, Metropolitan Museum, he also had never been to the Natural History Museum until I took him there um, a couple of years ago. So 
we went to the Met and then we went to this barbecue place called Dinosaur Barbecue for dinner and it was so good. And then we went to back to Penn Station and we went to the Sephora around there because he said he wanted to pick up my Christmas presents for me. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll get them there. And plus the Sephora in the cities carry like every single brand. So I wanted to pick up a foundation, of course. I've been wanting to try this foundation for a while. This packaging was so messed up though when I picked it up, but this was like the only bottle that they had of it in the city. So I just got it. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Longwear High Cover Foundation. Oxinoxate Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 25 in the shade 2. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just the simple black packaging. And then it says the shade name on the top here as well. And then the bottle is pretty much the same as the Luminous Silk Foundation. So this is what the bottle looks like. So it says the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. And this one is way different from the formula of the Luminous Silk. You guys know the Luminous Silk is one of my all-time favorite foundations. I've been through three bottles of it. It used to be my holy grail foundation. I love it so much. I'm on my fourth bottle. It's still my favorite. I still have it in my collection. It's an amazing foundation. Um, this one is a much more like high coverage version of it. Um, but I just think they're similar because of the packaging. It's a beautiful frosted glass packaging. I really am into the frosted glass packaging for foundations. I think it's so pretty and I feel like they hold up better. Um, the only difference with this bottle is that it does have all the ingredients on the back, which I think is really nice. And then it also says the shade name on the bottom as well. Now I've tried this one out about twice. I'm still not sure about how I feel about it. I tried it out on a date night with my boyfriend on Tuesday and I only wore it for like two or three hours then and I liked it. I'm not sure like how I feel about it yet though. Um, and then I also did wear it all day on Wednesday. I wore it from 9 in the morning till about 12.30 at night and when I came home my nose looked like hell. I was like what the heck like it kind of wore off a little bit on my nose. I mean it held up like a champ to be honest um, but I'm going to have to try it out and really like determine how I feel about it because I put this on at 9 in the morning so I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. I couldn't really look at it in the mirror to tell you guys. So it has a matte full coverage look though and it's a very velvety finish to it like a powdery finish which I do like. So I'm going to test it out more and let you guys know but that's the first thing that he got me. Then the next thing is another thing from Giorgio Armani. This is one of his lip products. So this is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color in the shade 202. I actually thought that this was one of his matte liquid lipsticks, but um, I do want to try those out. But I got this one, and I thought this would be a cool thing to try. Um, it's kind of like weird packaging, though, like the... Giorgio Armani's like upside down. So it says the name on the top. So that is the... Um, name and the color and then also has the color obviously on the top but I wasn't intending on him getting this for me and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get one of these but I was like you know what I'm going to try it because I've been wanting to try his lip products for a while so this is what the packaging looks like I love like his new red capped packaging like the red um writing on this one I think that's so pretty and then he also has like a red cap on here I think that's so pretty so this is what it looks like it's like a of course it's a nude shade um and then the shade 202 it says on the bottom it says the name 202 on the bottom can I speak today so it says it right there and then this is what the applicator looks like it's like a tilted applicator and then I will swatch it for you. This has a more like satiny finish to it and it's actually really nice on the lips. I have tried it once. So this is the color. It's a really pretty warm tone nude shade. Of course, when he I asked him like which color did you like or which color do you like for me to get and he's like I got like the he always gravitates towards the red oranges or the reds because he loves like those kind of lip colors on me. Um, but I always gravitate towards the nudes because they're the ones that I'm going to wear the most. But it's a really nice formula. It's like a satiny lip finish. It's not a matte liquid lipstick at all. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's a really pretty shade and it feels nice and comfortable on the lips. I did do a liquid lipstick review and check-in on this though. But I might not post it just because it's not really a matte lipstick. 
Like it's not like some of the other lipsticks I picked up. So that is the first lipstick. And now the next thing that he got for me is something from Burberry. I've been wanting to try this for a while ever since Stephanie Nicole was talking about these. This is one of the Burberry highlighters. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighter Illuminating Powder. And this one's in the shade rose gold so this is what it looks like and then of course it has the shade name on the top right there and then I'm just going to open it up and show it to you guys it comes in a pouch but it kind of just slipped out of the pouch right there when I took it out so it comes in this you know really nice velvet pouch you always know you're getting like luxury makeup if it comes in like one of these and then this is what the packaging looks like I'm getting like my fingerprints on it it has like the really beautiful like Burberry plaid logo um printing on it not logo printing um and then it does have the shade name on the back obviously it says rose gold highlighter and this one i'm actually wearing on my face today for the first time i haven't tried it out yet because just of course i picked up a bunch of highlighters because you guys know i'm a highlighter queen um so this is what the highlighter looks like i am obsessed with the design i think it's so gorgeous so that's what it looks like, and this was the shade that she talked about, Stephanie Nicole, she talked about this in her um, favorites video for the year, and this she said that this one was one of her favorites. So that's the color, and then I'm going to swatch it for you guys, but the pattern is so beautiful, I like don't want to touch it because it's so pretty. And it does come with a mirror as, as well, which I think is really nice, I mean for the price it's nice, it's like 65 bucks. So, um, so this is the shade. It's a really pretty light rose gold. It's not like your typical darker, pinkier rose gold highlighter. It's more like a light rose gold, which I think is really pretty. So that's the shade. And I do like it. I think it's a nice, subtle intensity. It's not, you know what I mean, like a medium glow. Not something that's going to be completely blinding. But it is a nice glow for like everyday wear, which I think is really pretty. Also, I was going to do something like more simple on my eyes because I'm wearing the Dream Street palette today because that's like, of course, one of my favorite palettes now. I wear it so much. It's so beautiful. And I'm wearing a pigment on my lid that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, but I wanted to do something more simple. Of course, I'm wearing like a full face of makeup when I'm like just going to his house. But I wanted to record this haul today. So I guess it's justifiable. So that's the... Um, third thing, I actually, when I picked this up, I forgot to say, um, this was not the thing that she actually sold to me when we went to the Sephora in the city. I said that I wanted the rose gold highlighter, and basically, like, the city store is so trash, like, so much stuff is, like, all over the place, and they didn't even have this out when I was looking for it, because I thought that they were sold out of it, so I was like, hey, can you, like, help me? and look in the drawers at least we found somebody to help us because obviously in the city stores like you have to like track them down and like follow them everywhere in order to get somebody to help you um but this wasn't out so I asked her to check the drawer and she pulled something out and it said like rose something so I was like oh I'm just gonna get this and I think it said nude blush and not rose gold so I brought it home I didn't even realize um that it was the wrong thing until me and him got on the train together and I opened it up and I was like, oh my god, this is an eyeshadow palette. What did she sell me? So I had to go back to the one in Roosevelt Field, but we were going there anyway because I was getting his Christmas present there, but he didn't want to get the headphones. So I went into Sephora to exchange the eyeshadow palette for this and I also picked up a couple of other things that I can't get in my Sephora um, so yeah, so I got this and exchanged it, so I finally got that, so just wanted to share that with you. Okay, and the last two things that I got for me are both from Yves Saint Laurent. So the first thing is the Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Concealer Full Coverage 16 Hour Wear in the shade Porcelain. I was interested in trying out the foundation but I decided to try the concealer because I already picked up a couple of more foundations from other brands that I've been wanting to try even more. I think I have two or th two more foundations in here. Um, so this is the concealer. Of course I had to pick up con a concealer to try out. Um, I think this is my first YSL concealer. I've never tried any of their concealers. So the shade name is on the top and the name the All Hours Concealer. The only thing like concealer type product that I've tried from YSL is the um uh the like luminous 
what's it called? The Touche Clot Highlighting Stick. I also love the foundation. You guys know I love the Touche Clot Foundation. I'm so upset that they discontinued that foundation. That was one of my all-time favorites. But I figured I wanted to try their one of their concealers. So this is the All Hours Concealer. And this is what the packaging looks like. And then it says YSL on the top. Obviously, if you could see that. Um, and then this is what the applicator looks like. I actually really like the shade for me. It's a really nice shade, but I'm not sure how I feel about this concealer. I mean, I have been wearing it a ton. I'm wearing it today as well, just because I've been really wanting to test it out. Um, it kind of settles into fine lines um, a lot after only like not even an hour's worth of wear. And it's supposed to be an all hours concealer, so you think it would be like all day wear. But I'm not like too crazy about it. It's nice, but I don't think it's worth 35 bucks. I have a lot more drugstore concealers that I love a lot more. I also really have been loving the Kat Von D one that I got for six bucks from Marshalls. So it's good, but it's not like amazing. I did want another concealer as well, but they're like sold out of that one everywhere. I wanted the Kevin Aquan Etherealist one. They're sold out in my, in my shade in the Sephora one in the city and also the one in um, my town in, well not my town, the one in Roosevelt Field, they didn't have it there either. So it's nice, it's not like amazing, but it is a nice, I wouldn't even say this is like full coverage, it's a nice, it blends out really nicely. How many times can I say nice? But it's not, I wouldn't say this is long lasting at all. I don't think it's like a full coverage matte concealer, not like the Urban Decay one, which I actually really love. Um, so it's good. It's not great. And then the um, last thing that he got me and the next thing that I got from YSL is the YSL um, Matte Lip Stain in the shade number 7. As you guys know, I think I told you guys that I exchanged my or I returned my um, color that I originally got in this one. Because, of course, I wanted to try out a nude shade and I felt like I wasn't really going to wear the red shade that I got in this. So I, I returned that one and I got this one in the city. So this is the shade 7. So that's what the packaging looks like. And then it says the shade name on the top right there. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I feel like I really thought I didn't get too much stuff. And I feel like this is going to take me like forever to get through. So this is what the packaging looks like. Of course, it's beautiful YSL packaging. It has a frosted glass tube, which I think is so pretty. And then it says the shade 7 on the bottom. And then this is what the applicator looks like. It's a pretty cool, funky applicator. I actually really like this applicator. It makes it really easy to apply. And this one has more of like a liquidy formula. Very liquidy, but it actually does dry down to be pretty much completely matte. Not like as matte as other um, other um, lipsticks, I was going to say uh, more uh, like uh, foundations, but this one is the uh, lipstick. It's really, really pretty. It's like a pinky nude blush tone shade. I really, really like it. I have worn this one once too. It's a very wet formula when you first apply it. But as it dries down, it's a really, really nice, comfortable formula. So this is actually really good. Um, I do do a full liquid lipstick review and check in on this as well. So I will post that when I can. Um, but I wanted to haul everything first to let you guys know what I think. And also, I don't like sharing reviews until after I've hauled everything. So that's everything that he got for me. Now let's get into some other stuff. So the first couple of things I got were from Lancome. I don't know why I've been sleeping on Lancome for such a long time. I really do love their stuff now. I love the foundation. It's my holy grail. I love that freaking Taint Idol foundation. It's amazing. And then I also love their mascaras. I actually really love their eyeliners too that come in like the Sephora sample um, point perks. They're amazing. I've been wearing those a lot this month. And those are really good eyeliners. So I decided since I loved the Lancome liquid foundation so much that I wanted to try the stick foundation because um, Nicole Guerrero is always talking about this one as being like one of her favorite foundations. Um, so I wanted to try this out. So this is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Makeup, Sti Makeup Stick All Day Color Wearing Comfort Portable Perfection Soft Matte Finish for All Skin Types in the shade Ivory. So this is the packaging. It's really, really pretty, and then it has the shade name on the top, of course. And when I first picked this up, I thought this was going to be a lot bigger, 
like the I thought that the makeup forever one was small and not a lot of products but this one is even smaller of course the cap came off it keeps on coming off every time I open it so this is what the packaging looks like look how tiny this thing is this is like so small and this is 42 bucks it's pretty expensive, but the thing that I got, the other thing I got from Lancome is the same price, and it's a highlighter. So this is the foundation stick. So it says the name of the stick on the side right here, and then this is what it looks like. So it's like a roll-up stick. As you guys can see, not that much product comes in here. Of course, I'm the lightest shade because I'm always the lightest shade in everything, but... um. It has like a velvety finish to it. I don't know how I feel about it. I've tried it out a couple of times. I wore it yesterday and then I wore it like a couple of days before that. I'm not sure if somebody actually had used this before I actually um, looked at it in the store. Because when I got home, I felt like it looked kind of beat up just a little bit. So I don't know. I'm a little bit like nervous to use this again. Um, I might go back to the store and see like how the other ones look before I actually wear this again. It might just be the packaging that's wearing it down a little bit on the sides. But if it was used, I'm going to be pissed. Um, because the Makeup Forever one comes with a cap when um, you buy it. So it doesn't like, you know, it's not like exposed like this. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see. But I don't really love this. It's okay. Um, I tried it mostly because that was like her favorite stick that she said that she really loved. But I think I prefer the Makeup Forever one so far. This one is extremely dry around my nose area. So I'm going to test it out more and let you guys know what I think of it. And then the next thing that I got, I wasn't originally intending on picking this up. And then I couldn't resist because everybody keeps on talking about how beautiful these are. So I really wanted to try one of them. So this is the Lancome Paris Dual Finish Highlighter Multitasking Illuminating Powder Illuminating Powder All Day Wear in the shade 05 Sparkling Peach. So this is what the packaging looks like. Of course, it's a beautiful silver packaging. And then it has the shade name on the top right here. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it comes with this really beautiful compact. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's gorgeous. So it's just a simple black packaging with like a gold clasp and then the shade name of course is on the back right here and then I'll show you guys what it looks like so it has like a little um thing that you just press and then it opens up like this and then it has a mirror and then this is what the highlighter looks like look how gorgeous this packaging is I was like oh my god the packaging is beautiful so it comes with this little you know plastic insert which I really really like and then this is what the highlighter looks like look how gorgeous this is you guys I was like, I need this. It's so beautiful. I've swatched this like a bunch of times already. I have worn it too. And this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. And I will swatch it. It has like a cream to powder formula, kind of similar to the Physicians Formula one, which you guys know is one of my new favorite highlighters. It's so gorgeous. I love that one. So this is what the highlighter looks like. So that's the Lancome one. And it's really, really beautiful. It's like a beautiful peachy gold. You guys know that's like some of my favorite colors for highlight. I love gold highlighters. They're like my favorites to wear. Um, so that one is the Lancome one. I think it's gorgeous. I have worn it once, and I thought it was really beautiful on the skin. So this one I thought was definitely worth picking up. It is probably my favorite one I've tried so far. It's a really beautiful highlighter. So that was that. So that's everything that I got from Lancome. Now let's just share these things with you guys. So the next things that I got, so you guys know that I am completely obsessed with the milk pigments that I got. That I had to go and pick up two more. So I went and picked up two more of the milk pigments. I was originally going to pick up all of the new of the like neutral shades, but they only had two of the neutral shades in the store besides After Party, which I already own. Um, so these are the two shades that I got. I wanted to get peep show as well but they didn't have it so these are the two shades so the first shade is gig and the next shade is hotel lobby so the two shade names are on the top right here um but i'm obsessed with these they're so beautiful that i had to get two more of them so that one says gig and that one is hotel lobby oh my god why is that one so blinding oh my god so that one is hotel lobby and it says it right on the cap 
and then I'll show you guys what they look like. Sorry if I'm like out of it. You guys, you don't even know how tired I am. Like, it's been a long month. <laughs> I've just been doing like so much lately. So these are the two shades. So this one is like a gold and this one's more of a bronzy shade. I'm actually wearing Hotel Lobby all, all over my lid today. I wasn't going to wear a pigment today. I was just going to wear, you know, like just a regular... um eyeshadow from like one of the ColourPop, from the ColourPop palette that I'm wearing, the Dream Street one. Um, so these are the two shades that I got. Um, I wasn't intending on picking up any more eyeshadows because I did just order a palette from Lime Crime because I did also order a couple of things online that I will share with you guys in another haul and I also picked up a few things from MAC. Um, but since I love the two pigments that I already have from them, I had to try more because they're so beautiful. So I am going to swatch them for you, but I'm going to be very careful because these will not come off your hand. So they just don't go anywhere. So I'm just going to swatch just a little bit. And I'm just going to swipe it for you guys. So that's the Hotel Lobby one, which is the gold shade. And I'm going to wipe it right off so it does not stick to my hand. Because if I don't, I know it won't come off. So that one is Hotel Lobby. It's a really gorgeous yellow gold, which you guys know I'm a sucker for gold eyeshadow. I love gold eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. I love that one. Let me just wipe it off. Or it's literally going to stick to my hand. These things dry so quickly. That's why I kept my makeup wipes in my room because I knew it was going to dry down super quick. And then this one is called Gig, which is more of like a bronzy shade. I'll swatch this one for you too. Oh, I keep on putting on too much. And then that one is the Gig shade. It's more of like a taupey bronze. I thought it was going to be more like an orangey bronze shade. But it's really pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. That's like blinding. Like could you ask for anything more in an eyeshadow? So that one is Gig. I've worn both of them once already. And obviously Hotel Lobby I'm wearing again for the second time today. I just couldn't resist wearing it again, so I wore it today, and it's beautiful. These are amazing. They're like some of my new favorite eyeshadows, like probably ever. I love them just as much as my ColourPop ones. I finally found like a liquid eyeshadow that just does not move or go anywhere, and I think they are so amazing. So these are the two that I got, and I might collect them all because they're so amazing that I might get rid of some of my filled shadows or maybe like older sh shadows I'm not really wearing, but these are bomb. I love them so much. These are just, they're incredible. I love them so much. Like, I really can, I'm just going to pop these back on in the tubes because I need to make some room. So those were the two eyeshadows that I got, and now let's move on to more stuff. So the next thing that I got is something from Makeup Forever. So I've been wanting to try their blush and highlighter duos that they came out with recently. They re they recently like came out with a bunch of new stuff. They came out with um the new artist eyeshadows and they also came out with a bunch of blushes and highlighters. I know that they came out with these before like a couple of months ago, but I'm just picked them up now because I was waiting to get paid. So this is the Makeup Forever Refillable Makeup System, and this is the Duo um, package, and I got a blush and a highlighter in here. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really, really pretty. I love this. I think it's a nice, durable case, and it has a really strong magnet in it. So I got a blush and a highlighter, of course. So this is what the blush and highlighter look like. I got this peachy blush and I got this like white uh kind of like white gold highlighter there wasn't really that much selection with the highlighters so I just got this one because I thought it just looked really pretty and then this is the blush I got I think it looks so beautiful so the blush is the shade um s300 so this says it is it's a sculpting powder so this is the packaging that it comes in and then the highlighter is called H102, and this is the highlighter package. So it comes in like little plastic holders, and you take them out of here, and then you pop them into the little um, package. So it's really, really cute. And then it comes with a mirror, which I think is really nice. 
So let's swatch both of them for you. This blush is so soft when you dip your fingers in it. I've never felt a softer blush in my life. It is so nice. And then the highlighter, it's a little bit rougher, but it's a really pretty shade. I haven't worn this one yet. This is the only highlighter I haven't tried yet in this haul. So this is the highlighter. Well, let's not put a dent in it. I don't think I did. Um, so this is the blush. It's really pretty. It probably won't swatch that well. I wore it once already though and it's really beautiful on the face. And then this is the highlighter. It's like more of like a white gold. It's really good for pale skin tones like me. Obviously you guys know I'm super pale. I just want to see if I can get a better swatch of the blush. So yeah, that's the blush. It's a really pretty peachy color. That's like some of my favorite. Sorry, I'm like burping. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's the blush, and that's the highlighter. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ooh, that highlighter is actually really gorgeous. I'm really excited to wear that. So I got that duo from Makeup Forever. I really like that. Um, I've only tried the blush once so far, so we'll see how it how it is as I wear it more. Okay, then the next thing that I got is another foundation. I was really excited to try this one. Everybody keeps on talking about it, so this is probably like the most excited I am for like any product. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I got it in the shade Light One Oslo. Um, a lot of people are talking about this as some of as like one of their favorite foundations now, and I have yet to find a NARS foundation that I'm absolutely crazy about. So I figured I would try this one to see what I think about it. Um, and they came out with a bunch of shades, which bravo to NARS, like Tarte, take notes, like I've been saying, what the frick, man. Um, so it comes in this really nice cardboard packaging, and you open it up like this, and then the uh, foundation comes out like that. I was going to say blush. I don't know why I was thinking about blush. So this is the um, foundation. So it comes in this gorgeous, like sleek frosted like a uh, glass bottle not frosted just a regular glass bottle and it's really nice slim sleek packaging and then it says natural radiant longwear foundation on the back and then this is the it says the shade name on the bottom right here I know I'm all over the place I'm sorry forgive me um and this is what the pump looks like so it's a really really nice packaging and the shade is really really nice like when I got the sheer glow foundation it was so white on me. I think this one is a perfect shade. Nice and pale, but not white. This has more of like a neutral undertone to it. And I think it's really beautiful on the skin. So far, I've been really liking it. I think it's really nice for about six hours. And then I think I don't really love how it looks after that. Because I did wear this on Friday for most of the day. I wore it from like... I think like 3 p.m. to like about 12, actually longer, from like 3 p.m. to like 1.30, 2 in the morning. So I wore this for a long time because I've been going out with my best friend a lot um, because she's going to be going to Georgia within the next week. Just wondering what my dog is barking at. Um, but yeah, I liked how it was on the skin but not after like six or seven hours worth of wear. So we'll see how it holds up today. But I'm not really doing anything too crazy today with my boyfriend. I'm just going over his house and I think we're going to get his Christmas present. Um, but I really like it so far. I'm just going to slip it back into the box. I don't need to put it back in the cardboard packaging. So that was the last foundation that I picked up. We only have a couple more products to share with you guys. Um, so the next thing that I got is something from... I just want to see if there's any more makeup. Okay, there's only five more makeup products. So the next thing that I got is something from Fenty Beauty. I knew when she came out with regular lipsticks, I really wanted to try one of them. I also saw a Snack Time with Chips lip swatching video. If you guys want to see all of them swatched on your lips, swatched on her lips, go check out her video. It's an awesome one. She picked up so many shades. I only picked up one. Of course, I picked up a nude shade. Um, but also check out the Fancy Face review. Um, she did a really amazing review on them as well. So this is the Fenty Beauty by, R by Rihanna Matte Mazelle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Single. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I'm not like going to pick up too many things from Fenty Beauty, but I do want to try the things that I am really interested in. 
I'm waiting for her to come out with more shades with the matte liquid lipstick because so far she only came out with the red one and I want like a more wearable shade of course. Because I'm not going to wear a red lipstick every day of my life. It's just not practical. Um, so this is the uh, packaging. So of course it says Fenty Beauty here. And it has like that graffiti packaging that she has on everything. And then it says single on the top. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one or, or like the more pinky one. But I decided to get this one. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really beautiful. It says Fenty Beauty on the side. Fenty Beauty, sorry. And then it says single on the bottom right here in really small print. And then it says Fenty Beauty on the top right here. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. So it has like a really slim packaging, which I really like. And then the product, that's how much it comes with. And then it says the FB on the top, but it already wore off because I did wear this um, two days ago, I think. Or like Thursday, I wore this to work. Um, and I really, really enjoyed the formula. The formula is really, really nice on this. So that is the color. Of course, it's a really beautiful nude. And this is like really creamy on the lips. Feels really nice. I knew I was going to like this. It's so creamy. Like some of the creamiest mattes I've ever tried. So this is a really nice formula. A lot of people are complaining about how small it is though and how expensive it is for how tiny it is. Um, so just be aware of that if you don't want to spend too much money on this. Go with a MAC lipstick because MAC lipsticks are the same price and I think you get like double the product. I am wearing a MAC lipstick, lipstick today, by the way. I'm wearing the MAC, um, one of the Nicki Minaj lipsticks. I just picked it up um, and I haven't worn that and I also picked up another MAC one. But I haven't worn either of them, so I wanted to try this one out today. This is called the Right Note. It's a really beautiful, like, cream sheen lipstick. But this is really, really good. I really like it. Okay, and then I got a couple of things from Bite Beauty. Actually, no. These are both lip products from Bite and Burberry. So the first one that I got is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquify Lip. And this one's in the shade Whip. So, of course, like, when I saw that they were coming out with liquid lipsticks, they're not really, like, a liquid lipstick. It's more, like, again, a satiny lipstick. So, it's not a completely matte lipstick. Um, so, this one's in the shade Whip. So, that is the shade name on the top. I'm pretty sure this is, like, the most popular one. So, of course, I had to try it out because I love Bite Beauty lip products. Um, so, this is the shade, and I love the packaging. It's, like, a gray packaging. Of course, like, most of their lipsticks come in this gray colored packaging and then it has the like shade on the bottom which I think is really nice and then it has the shade name on the bottom of course and then this is what the applicator looks like it's like a tilted applicator and then this is the color which of course is a nude and it's much more like a pale tone like neutral color as opposed to the Fenty Beauty one and this is actually really nice on the lips. I know, I think I wore this yesterday to work. Yes, I wore this yesterday to work. And um, I know that Young Woman Polish said that she didn't really like these, but I like them. They're a little bit thick on the lips. It kind of reminds me of the Cream Sheen lipsticks from MAC. Um, but I really liked it. It's not a matte liquid lipstick by any means. It has a much shinier finish. But I do really like it. It's a nice, like, it kind of reminds me of the older formula of the Bite Beauty lipsticks, just in, like, liquefied form. Even though it's an amuse-bouche lipstick, which is their newer formula, it kind of reminds me of the Luminous Cream lipsticks. I don't know why, but I thought it was really nice on the lips. It's really pretty, so I wore it yesterday, and I really liked it. So that was that. And then the next thing that I got is another lip product. This is the last, last lip product, though. I got one, two, three, four, five lipsticks, so it's not too bad. So the last lip product I got, I got this again because of Young Wild and Polished. She says that these are like some of her favorite liquid lipsticks ever. So I really wanted to try one of these out. So this is the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet Bold and Matte Whipped Lip Cream in the shade Primrose number 21. So originally I wanted Fawn Rose, but they were out of stock in that one. And when I wanted to get it in the city store, because I wanted my boyfriend to get this one for me rather than the Giorgio Armani one, but I would have picked up one or the other anyway by myself or for, like, for myself. So I got this one, and I wanted 
uh, Fawn Rose, but they didn't have it in either of them. The one in the city, the ones in the city store were completely sold out. They didn't have any of them in the store, which I was like, oh my god, it's like crazy. Um, so it says Primrose on the top right here. And then this, this is what it looks like. It's a really gorgeous frosted glass tube, and it has the pattern on the top. So I think it's so pretty. It kind of really reminds me of the foundation. So I got like a, a similar color to Fawn Rose. I really like this color though because I kind of need a new pink lipstick. I might declutter um, the one that I was wearing on Friday during the day. I was wearing ColourPop Spritz and I can notice that it was kind of changing colors a little bit on the inside. And the formula, the formula wasn't really the same but that was also one of the first Ultra Satin Lips I picked up. So I, that might be like a year and a half old already. And ColourPop products don't last forever. They last like a year and a half. But they're super cheap, so it's not like breaking the bank when you get rid of them. But this is not about ColourPop. It's about Burberry. So it comes in this beautiful frosted glass packaging. And then the shade name is on the bottom right here. And then this is what it looks like. It's like a really nice regular applicator. So when I first put this on, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I'm like, I don't know if I really love the formula. But it's a very, like, different formula. It definitely really does feel like a velvet lipstick on your lips. So that is the shade. It's a really pretty, like, basic pink shade. I think it's really gorgeous. And I did wear this um, that night because I picked it up during the day when I went with my, with my boyfriend to the Sephora. And then I went out with my best friend after that. And I kind of wanted a matte lipstick to wear when we went out. I didn't really want to deal with the Ultra Satin Lip. Even though those are some of the best lipsticks that hold up even when you like go out and eat in them. Um, but I wanted to change this one and it felt really nice and comfortable on the lips and but I felt like I did have to reapply it again so I don't I wouldn't say it's like a completely long lasting liquid lipstick but I'm gonna have to try it out again and I'm gonna have to do a liquid lipstick check in and review because I didn't have time to do it that night because I was with her. So that was that. Okay, then the next thing that I got is like what I'm so excited to show you guys for. What I'm so excited to show you guys. I can't speak. This is the, um, I've been dying to try this. I wanted, to, been wanting to, uh, Kat Von D to come out with highlighters for like such a long time. And she came out with this during Christmas. And this was out of stock in my Sephora for a while. And then they got it back in stock like a couple of days ago. So I picked it up right when I saw it. So this is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter Palette. And this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. So this is what it looks like. Oh my god. Like, can you die over this packaging? And then it has all the shade names on the back right here. So it says Gamma Ray, Helix, and Rose Shock. So you got like an orangey shade, a light like yellow gold shade, and then a like pinky rosy shade. So... We're going to open it up and show it to you guys. I'm going to open it up and show it to you guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. And then it has the shade names again on the back. I'm not, I don't have to read them to you again. And then this is what it looks like. I'm so obsessed with this packaging. I think it's so gorgeous. So this is what the highlighters look like. So this is the Gamma Ray. This one is Helix. And this one is Rose Shock. So that's what they look like. Really gorgeous. And then it comes with a mirror as well, which is really beautiful. And I'll swatch all of them for you. I'm just telling you guys that these are very, very glittery. So if you don't like a glittery highlight, you are not going to like these at all. I was a little bit hesitant about them as well. And I did return the L'Oreal Holographic one like right away when I got that one. Because that one like was straight up glitter. But like as you build these up, these are really pretty. But they're just very glittery. So this one is... That's the Rose Shock shade. This one is the Gamma Ray, and this one is Helix. So they're really gorgeous. They're just very glittery, so be careful. I did wear this um, that night that I was going out with my friend when I wore the Burberry lipstick because I was wearing my cupcake dress, so I wanted to wear like a pinky highlight. So I wore this shade and this shade mixed together. They were very glittery. But they give off a really pretty like holographicness like highlight on your cheeks. So I really did like that. I'm definitely going to keep this and try it out more. But if I don't love it, I might return it. But I just want to keep it because the packaging is so gorgeous. I know she's coming out with more shades though. But I just don't know when. Like I think later this year. But 
I wanted this like so badly. So I picked it up. And then the last thing that I got makeup wise is something from Natasha Denona. I know I keep on saying that she is so overpriced. Um, but I don't think I'll, I'm ever going to purchase the foundations, but I really want the foundations, the eyeshadows, because the eyeshadows are like insane. And I did want my boyfriend to get me the sunset palette for Christmas. And then I was like, no, I kind of want him to pick me up some luxury makeup items and get like five items rather than just like one. So I got one of the blushes because um, Stephanie Nicola keeps on talking about how good the blushes are. So I got this one. I did want to get um, this other color that they had online, I think it was number seven or number five, but they didn't have it in the NYC store or the, um, Roosevelt Field one. I didn't even know they carried Natasha Denona in the Roosevelt Field one, but I'm glad that they did. So I found this one there. So this is the Natasha Denona blush duo in the shade palette number 14. And the shades in here are Tutu and Golden Coral. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really, really pretty. And then it has the shade names on the back right here. And then I will show it to you what it looks like. I will show you what it looks like. I will show it to you what it looks like. Why am I saying everything backwards today? I, I do have ADD though, so that could be it. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really love it. It's like a really pretty case and I think that this is just really nice. I just really like it. And then it has the shade names on the back. It kind of reminds me of Clinique packaging. And then this is what the uh, palette looks like. So that comes with two shades and it comes with this really nice mirror. I just think that these are really pretty. So this one is, I think this one is golden coral and this one is tutu because that one's a coral shade. So I'm actually wearing this one on my cheeks today. I was going to wear the pink one, but since I went with a more warm tone look, I thought this would clash a little bit. So I'm wearing this one. And these are really nice and soft on the cheeks. It has a really nice velvety build buildable, I was going to say billable, buildable formula. They don't really swatch that well though, so I might not be able to get a good swatch out of them. You're probably not really going to see them, so dang, it's like really hard to see. This one is the Golden Coral and this one is the 2-2 shade. I might wipe off some more stuff on my hand so you guys can actually see it. Let's try and do that again. When I was swatching it when I got home, ugh, when I got home, they really swatched very patchy. So this one is, yeah, you're not really going to see them. The Golden Coral shade is very subtle, but it's really nice and buildable. So that one is Golden Coral, and that one is the Tutu shade. So you're not really going to be able to see them too well. Sorry about that. Um, but they're really nice and velvety. I do like how this is on the cheeks, but I do feel like it's very, very subtle, and I feel like I need more of it already. And I've only been wearing this, like, not even an hour. So we'll see how it holds up today, but I wanted to try them because Stephanie Nicole keeps on talking about her blushes. So I wanted to give them a shot. So that is it that I got from... That is it that I got that is luxury makeup and stuff and then I just got two things from the Sephora brand I pick these stuff these up all the time these stuff up this stuff up all the time oh my god I'm almost done so this is the Sephora solid brush cleanser you guys know I love this this is like the fifth or sixth one that I've gotten and I decided to pick up the big one I've been through too many ones before this and I forgot to haul those but it's just a cleaner you guys know I pick this up all the time I love it and then the only other thing I got, I needed to replace my spray cleaner, like spot cleaner for brushes and stuff because my color switch doesn't always do it all the time um, because that can get very dirty very easily and this cleans my brushes a lot better if I need to like clean off like a colorful eyeshadow and the color switch isn't really doing it for me, I use this. So this is the Sephora Citrus, Citrus Blush... Sephora Citrus Citrus Brush Cleaner. Oh my god. The Sephora Citrus Brush Cleaner. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's just a spray cleaner for your brushes that you can just spray on. And it'll clean it for you. This is the citrus one. I thought this smelled really good. And I just wanted to try it out. Because the one that I have is pretty much almost done. So I had to replace it. And yeah. That's it, you guys. That's everything that I got, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I picked up a lot of stuff, and 
I do have some MAC things to share with you as well, but I'm going to save that for my next haul because I'm waiting for a ColourPop order, a Beauty Bakery one, which I'm so excited to try out their lipsticks. I've been wanting to try their, out their lipsticks for a long time. And I also got some stuff from Lime Crime, and I also got, yeah, some stuff from MAC. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please like and subscribe, follow me on all my social media, and I love you guys. Please let me know if you tried out any of these products, if you wanted to see any of these products in action, or my thoughts, my further thoughts on them, because I'm sure I'm going to update you guys in my favorites videos. So yeah, bye guys! Yeah. <laughs>